time to sit down for monthly favorites. <laughs> By the way, my name is Dana, if you didn't know already, and this channel is all about SMS beauty, skincare, makeup, sunscreen. There we go. And this is the monthly favorites video. I just said that already, where I'm gonna go through what I have been loving this month and just talk about things that, you know, I'm enjoying. <laughs> It's really that simple. I was gonna apply a few things because, you know, a lot of the time I come to this kind of video with my makeup done already, but I thought I had a few that I could show you and that's always more fun. So let's get into it. Don't forget, subscribe if you're not already and give this video a big old like. It really does help my channel and we'll get going. Okay, I have two sunscreens that I have been absolutely really obsessed with. They came with me on a trip to New York. They'll be probably coming with me on a trip to California. And to me, that is kind of a sign that I like them, not always. <laughs> but the first one is the Summer Fridays. Oh my gosh, when I put it up against the light, you can see how much I've used, which at this point, I think I'm about halfway through. This is a mineral sunscreen, SPF 30. It has 9.4% zinc oxide, a little bit low. I wish the protection was a little higher, like love to see a 40 SPF, but otherwise I just cannot get enough of it. It is perfect for me in the summertime, which I can't say about a lot of mineral sunscreens because it does dry down a bit more matte than, not like 100% matte, but it's not as glowy and dewy as some notorious like mineral sunscreens are. You can get it to be a bit dewier if you put on a heavier moisturizer or like more serum underneath. But for me, I don't necessarily want that. So I like that it kind of dries down more matte. That, is a big one and also the, the there's just really not much of a cast the shade is kind of like a yellowy beige i think i called it a grayish actually and if you check the video that i did on it above if you check that out you'll see the whole video the whole try on all of it and i just i can't get enough of it <laughs> the other one is a chemical sunscreen so the first one's mineral this one's chemical this is a video that will probably i think be coming out first so i will link it above if it's out if it's not me on the lookout for this, this is the coolest Sun Silk Drops. Again, I've used half of it, which this one's only one fluid ounce. This one is 1.7. So you get a lot less for a lot higher of a price tag, but this stuff just is so easy. The only issue I've had with it is if you have sensitive skin or are kind of more sensitive to fragrance, it does have fragrance in it. And I had one time where my skin was very sensitized from some skincare and I feel like the fragrance didn't help it. It went away rather quickly, like it didn't last, but it didn't feel great. So if that is you, if you know that's you, then this is probably not the one. But if you do want a very, very easy, like just incredibly easy, um, good for the summertime chemical sunscreen, and you don't mind spending $46, <laughs> this is it. Okay, skincare. This is the Refer, what is it called? Hydration Cream version 1.0. I've used pretty much all of it. I actually have a backup already because I love it so much. This stuff, also it's pay what you want because it's in their, what is it called? Like product store? I forget what they, they call it. But basically you get like a huge discount on some of the refer brushes or other products because they're kind of concept store, that's what it's called. They're still like building it. It's not the final concept, if you will. So this one is a water cream and as you can see, it's it's clear, it's very more lightweight, but I don't always want a super lightweight moisturizer where it's just water. And this one has this kind of, this richer consistency for a water gel cream. And it sits absolutely beautifully under makeup. It gives me the right amount of moisture in the summertime without being too heavy. And I don't feel like it leaves my skin wanting for more. I believe they have on here, it's 5% niacinamide, 3% dimethicone, 2% centella asiatica, and 1% meadow foam seed complex, and then a hyaluronic acid complex. So obviously there are other ingredients, but I do love the niacinamide amount in here. For whatever reason, it has really made my skin just as clear and kind of smoother as can be. And I think it's a great option if you're not one of those people that has like incredibly, incredibly dry skin. If you have anything but, or in the summertime you don't need as much, this is a great option. And you can choose how much you pay for it right now. You can pay a dollar if you want. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's finish up the like face and body products and then I'll get into the makeup. So this one is the Tan Luxe The Gradual. I have not used a tanning or like gradual tanning lotion 
since maybe I was 12 and it was what it like the like L'Oreal whatever and the ones that I felt like they just came off on any of your clothing this is not that this is a $30 bottle which is expensive you get 8.4 fluid ounces or 250 milliliters and I believe you can get it in Europe and of course in America and probably Canada as well this one is gives me this tan that I, I thought like, I was like, oh, I'm so tan today. But some of it is from this. It basically just like gives you that oomph, that extra tan that maybe as your tan kind of dissipates, you don't have. I use it every few days. I don't use it every day. The only thing I don't love is maybe not today because I put it on yesterday morning. If you like kind of are sensitive to smells, you can smell the like DHC, is that what it's called? The self, like the tanning chemical. It's not bad, but it's not fragranced enough to kind of make it totally invisible to your nose, but it's not terrible to smell. Just don't like smell yourself all day because then I feel like you'll smell it more. <laughs> but yeah, it's like the perfect topper, like just a little bit more if you want just a little bit more of a tan, nothing too crazy. And it doesn't come off on my clothes. I wear white shirts like every day. <laughs> okay, two more products. This is the first one, the Fenty, what is it called? Poutsicle. And I have it in the shade My Type, like M-A-I, like My Thai, which is a pink shade, which I was not expecting to love. I'm gonna put it on right now and then I'm gonna talk about it. I have not used a pink lip color in so long, but when I swatched it at Sephora, it was between this and the coral one. And I just felt like this was something I didn't have. Like I have other coral shades and I don't know, there's something about this one that is beautiful. It's also pretty hydrating. So once it is on, it doesn't feel like it has like dried and caked your lips up. It feels pretty like nourishing for a lip stain and the color does last quite a long time. So you can do like this layer, I did like a thinner layer, or you can build it up for more pigment. Either way, pretty much work. And then the last thing I wanted to share is the Lip Dew from Vive. This is also kind of that pinky shade. This is the shade Cherub. And I'm gonna go over the lip stain with it. The only thing I don't love about these with I have all of her Lip Dew shades is the, the doe foot is like too big. <laughs> And I think they do that so some of the product comes off, but sometimes I find like myself tugging at it and then I worry that it's just gonna fly off, so. Now we're really going for a pink lip. I love it! <laughs> so these Lip Dew flavors, well, there are three new shades. This one, like my lips, but better shade, and then like a coral shade, and then their original, which has glitter in it. This is my favorite so far. They are, they smell divine, absolutely divine. They leave you with this juicy, glowy lip. Of course, it's not transfer proof, like you're gonna have to reapply, but if you're on a call and you want like a glowy, dewy lip, this is the one for you. So, I think that's it. We're just going to keep it short and sweet. There are other things that I am enjoying, but I haven't had enough time. So they may come in the next months, but we'll do this. It's, I think, under 10 minutes. Perfect. Love it. Short and sweet. Sweet. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.